While the action on the flight deck of the USS Harry Truman is truly spectacular, the buzz of activity below deck is equally eye-popping. The hangar deck spans the length of the ship, holding planes and helicopters repaired and readied for the next mission. Every night, hundreds of sailors perform what's called a FOD walkdown, looking for foreign objects like screws that could damage aircraft. That's when we met Walter Andrew Jeske from Finksburg, Maryland. The Navy was just the best choice when it came to seeing the world. You get to still serve your country and you still get to experience different cultures from all around the world. He's proud to be working on this carrier. So that's one of the elevators. This is elevator two. And this one can, that's pretty much where we transfer all the aircraft up and down to, so the, to and from. Up to, to the flight deck. To the flight deck, then come down to here. To the hangar bay, yes. And this 22 year old is living his dream. I was in Japan for three years and I've been to Singapore, South Korea, the Philippines. I've been to Guam, Australia, and then my favorite place I've ever been to is Iwo Jima. He showed me how to build a skid used to move weapons from storage to fighter jets. And these are going to pretty much hold the missiles. A job where speediness is critical, especially during conflict. Being part of the Navy is something bigger than myself. Being able to say I've done this and done my part for a plate for a country that I call home. I mean, it's just very breathtaking to know that I get to be part of it. What's your mom going to say when she sees you on the news? Probably going to be smiling too hard to even speak. <laughs> He's here, we found him. <laughs> we also found our way through 2,700 compartments and climbed dozens of ladders, stopping to see the giant anchors, eat in the dining halls, and finally, our bed. So we finished our first full day on the Truman. We're exhausted. We were retiring to our distinguished visitor stateroom. This is a lot nicer than what a lot of the crew members uh, get to stay in. And we have a wake up time of 0600. So for now, good night, Adam May, WBAL TV 11 News. Uh -huh.